If you're struggling to beat man coverage or zone cup drop coverage in Madden 24, great setup for you here today. We're going to be taking a look at the play curl flat out of the gun trip side in formation. And this is probably one of my new favorite plays in the game. Uh, very simple setup here, but going to absolutely destroy really anybody. And it's a great five out play with the new patch that EA released. Um, basically, the the five yard um, or send five out offense is is here in full floor. So we're going to show you one of my favorite setups out of the play curl flat. So uh, again, trip side in curl flat. What we're going to do to the left side is we are going to you kind of get two choices. If you have hot route master or outside apprentice, you could put this guy on a C route. And I would really recommend smart routing the route. OK, and we're going to show you why in a minute. And I'll show you an alternate route you can use if you don't have that. Then you're going to drag your tight end. And then if you have high route master or running back apprentice, you're going to re-angle route the running back. If you don't have it, then just leave it as it is. You're going to motion the middle trips receiver to the left side, and you're going to put him on a streak. What that does is it puts him just outside the numbers, and it allows for a little better spacing on the play, and they won't bump into each other as bad. Now, again, this is out of the Packers playbook, and I want to first show you the C route. So when you smart route the C route, he'll get this kind of wicked cut to the left and he'll be able to attack man coverage. Um, so that's why I like to recommend smart routing. If you don't smart route it, he's not going to be 100% consistent. He's going to be much more inconsistent in where his cut is. And so he could still beat man coverage. Like right here, he does still beat man coverage. I'm just telling you, I get a little more consistency out of smart routing. It. If you don't like how long that route takes or you don't have outside apprentice, then I would really recommend running this comeback route. Comeback routes in this year's game are really effective for beating man. So our first read on the play is always this tight end drag. This tight end drag is really good against man coverage. And most people, when they play trips tight end, um, they're trying to defend against floods to the right. This is going to give us a flood to the left side. Okay. Um, so please read that tight end uh, drag route. The next read is really this post um, or the angle route, depending on how they use her. This post is the reason we're in this play. The post might even be the reason we're in this playbook. The post is really good um, against man-to-man, -man, okay? And then the streak. When you're able to motion this guy to the left, it gets him in this kind of like nub alignment, which is much, much, much better because you see it clears out and they don't run into each other downfield where we want to throw the post route, all right? Let me talk about the comeback route real quick, and then we'll touch on the running back angle route. Um, Cover one robber is going to do a pretty good job against the running back Texas route because it has a three rec hook zone. But with the comeback, you just want to wait for him to snap back, and as soon as he does, just pass lead down and outside, and you should have a really good read there as well. So they got a lot of stuff they got to do to stop this. They got to have a, a flat uh, to the left side. They have to have somebody to help them uh, defend the, the post. Oftentimes they're going to end up having to go use the post. And then that's where this backside angle route uh, is just absolutely good. You're going to see he's going to get that sharp cut inside. He beats man coverage and it's just got really good spacing. This concept has really good spacing um, for both man and zone. Very difficult for the opponent to be able to use it. Okay. Let's talk about why this play is so good um, against zone coverage. We're going to start with cover four. So a baseline and press cover four drop in this year's game is probably the best way to be playing zone. What you'll see here is that that streak will clear out both of those zones, and then you could throw this essentially underneath them. Now, really important when you're running this concept, you want to make sure that your trips are to the wide side of the field. If your trips are not to the wide side of the field, then when you motion that receiver, he's not going to get in, into this position. He's actually going to be a little tighter to the tight end, and it's going to be harder for this to work. Also, when I say motion that uh, number two trips receiver to the, re the left, that's if the trips are to the left. If the trips are to the right, you would want to then motion him to the right. So as you can see there, it beats cover four really, really well, and then it will also beat uh, cover three probably even better. So uh, it will destroy cover three, cover four here. You'll see when he cuts, just I typically pass lead that down. And then I just, you could pass lead it down outside or just down, uh, but really good route there. So they have to go use or defend that. Um, and I'm going to show that with one last zone coverage I want to cover, which is the 30 yard cloud cover two. So if they're in the 30 yard cloud cover two and they don't go guard that, obviously against cover three, cover four, they have to go guard it. 
but they also have to do it even if that guy has dropped back to 30 yards. You're going to see right here, he's going to clear in this really soft spot uh, right over the top of that deep cloud flat, okay? So with the when you have this uh, streak route to clear out that deep half, that opens up your post. So you see here, he'll clear that out. You just want to wait on this a little longer, and eventually he'll clear it. Boom. That's an absolute beam, and with the way past the way the game is playing right now, they can't blitz you, so you're going to have plenty of time. So they're going to have to go use or defend that. So let's say they do that. So they're going to have to go use or defend that. Now we have a couple different options on the other side of the formation um, that is really, really effective. So the first option being our tight end drag, the second option being our running back angle route, and the third option being our comeback. If they're running a standard like cover two, but they're not using hard flats, which a lot of people don't against trips, you can use that tight end drag. That's where that tight end drag really creates value for us because now – they have to uh, they have to hard flat over there on the on the left, and I'm going to show you that's going to leave something vulnerable. That's going to leave them vulnerable to something else as well. So if they put the hard flat uh, over here on the left side, then I'm going to run this guy across, put him on the streak, and now what you're going to see is they go use the post. But look look at the running back Texas route. There's no yellows over the middle of the field. They have to use her the post, and it opens up the entire middle of the field for us to be able to attack with our uh, with our running back, just like that. So you're able to hit that. So now let's say best case scenario, they have a vertical hook, they have a three red hook, and let's say they just really are savvy with their adjustments and we've been spamming the same play and they go with the coverage like this. Worst case scenario, this is where we're going to check down. This is obviously after a lot happening here, but what we're going to see is most of the time, if they're defending you with some, some kind of semblance of a defense like this, this comeback, or you could even honestly leave the curl route, are going to be open. You'll see here when he comes back, kind of actually, no, not really there. Okay, doesn't work. If you use the curl route, it will work, and I'll show that. And it will be one less hot route for you. So if you leave the curl route, and they're in this you know super deep uh, Mabel defense, and again, they just like basically ignore the fact that you could throw a flat to the right. What will happen is this tight end drag late will pull the curl flat out and then you'll see you'll just be able to kind of throw this in this little pocket. So you can use that if you want to. Uh, the comeback will be a little better against things like cover three and cover four. So let's say they have a really good user, um, you know, and, and they take the post, but they have a lot of underneath help. But the guy on the outside is on a third. Then you're able to this play will run and you'll be able to hit this as kind of a late read against their coverage. Guys, this is a really good play because of its ability to attack man coverage. And again, if you use the C route, the C route is kind of an underrated route. Most people aren't really using that. But I will tell you, when you smart route this route, it will take it to a whole nother level. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, join the Patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.